So I thought I would do a brief overview of how to integrate uh, quotations in the most effective way. And this will be sort of key to your uh, final writing assignment. Um, it's not mandatory, but I would like you to try and integrate uh, a secondary source. So this could be an article uh, that you read, um, that you find through an, uh, a database on the library homepage of the university, or maybe you found an interesting article online uh, through Google Scholar is a good one. Uh, but there's lots of sources that you can find and track down uh, a respectable academic journal where uh, the author is discussing uh, the piece of literature, literature that you want to write about too. So there's effective ways of integrating another person's writing or ideas into your essay and uh, this is how, uh, or this is what we call signal phrases. Um, so this is a way to introduce quotations, someone else's idea, and give proper credit to the author of that idea. So usually you would use these uh, to add fluency or flow in your writing so you don't have a choppy transition into a quotation. So just a review, uh, we talked about this before, but you don't want to do um, dropped quotations. So you want to make sure that your quotation and the sentence that you're writing uh, are properly punctuated so there is a flow and they're correctly uh, connected. So here's an example of a dropped quotation. So California law prevents the killing of mountain lions except for specific lions that have been proved to be a threat to human or livestock, period. And then the quotation is dropped or dumped right after your sentence. Uh, so it's just floating there without any connection to your sentence. So that's what we want to fix. So when you're using your signal phrase, you can identify the speaker of the quotation and integrate that person's name into your sentence before you introduce the quote. Uh, you want to choose a strong verb to indicate uh, what the author's point is. Are they arguing? Are they uh, suggesting? Are they stating or declaring? Uh, whatever comes after. And uh, again, make that clear in uh, the sentence that precedes the quote. So here's a sample list of uh, strong verbs that you can use to uh, add interest to your writing uh, while you're writing your signal phrase. So words like comments, describes, explains, illustrates, uh, records, these are all just different ways of saying um, the author states that. Uh, so you can add a little bit of variety to your word choice. When you're talking about how another critic or writer uh, is analyzing the text, you might want to use a, a different word, so analyzes, assesses, concludes, speculates, uh, predicts, proposes. These are all sort of more um, descriptive verbs that you could use uh, and that'll add to your overall essay as well. So you can sort of set up your signal phrase in a lot of different ways, but mostly it will be to uh, announce to the reader uh, somebody else's opinion on the text that you're reading and you want to integrate their name into your sentence. So these are just four examples of adding the author or critic's uh, last name. Uh, if you want to use their full name that's fine as well uh, but you wouldn't want to repeat that over and over again so using their last name just makes it easier uh, as you are writing. So some examples, according to Alvin Kernan, and then you can put your quote in after that. Uh, as Nussbaum observes, and then add a quotation from this author, Nussbaum. Uh, so these are some examples of what you can do in your uh, paper when you want to show that you've done research and have done your research and have read all these articles, and this is what you want to show uh, to prove that you are uh, sort of writing as part of a discourse on this topic. 
Uh, so this is something that throughout your university career will be very sort of beneficial to understand and know how to do because uh, you're going to have to write research papers for, you know, almost every one of your classes in the arts and sciences. So uh, it's good to know and use signal phrases of effectively because, you know, research is essential part of being a university student. So in English courses we do use MLA style, uh, so you're going to have your quotation followed with the author's last name and page number. Uh, if you integrate the author's name into your sentence then you just need the page number. Um, in addition to uh, in, in paragraph or after your quotation you would add your citation. I usually like to put the page numbers at the very end of the sentence so they don't sort of intrude and make your, you know, sort of disrupt the flow of the sentence. It's better for the reader uh, if you have your citation at the end of the sentence. Um, and then in your work cited you would have a more complete uh, reference. So you pretty much just need to include uh, author's last name and page number. Um, and you have to include a work cited. So this is one of the things that uh, will become apparent is the fact that you have to reference all your source materials. So if you're looking online for sources, make sure they are in your work cited. Otherwise, this is considered plagiarizing and you don't want to be a plagiarist. So one place that you can go to find uh, scholarly articles on a range of topics would be Google Scholar and you can just uh, type that in and then do a search of uh, texts that you want to study so if we put in Timothy Finley uh, the wars we should get some articles popping up so we have some examples there's uh, Bright and Good, Finley's The Wars, or Finley's The Wars and Timothy Finley and The War Novel, um, Obscured by Violence, Timothy Finley's The Wars, The Devotion to Fragility, Timothy Finley's The Wars, uh, PDF, Making Meaning in Timothy Finley's The Wars. So you can click on any of these, I think, and get some results. So this links us to the full text article uh, by Diana Bryden and you can scroll down and find a complete uh, article about the novel. Um, so maybe I would read through Diana Bryden's and then highlight an important passage that I think would work well in my paper and then I would use a signal phrase according to Diana Bryden uh, and then use a quotation from this article in my essay. So I'm using a secondary source, in this case, an article by Diana Bryden in my own paper uh, to support what I'm saying or to bring something interesting, uh, interesting research to my uh, analysis of the novel. You can also find uh, articles through the University of, Li of Regina uh, Library homepage. Uh, you can, of course, look through the catalog and find books uh, based on keywords, author, title. Uh, those books would be listed and, and you could find them in the library. Uh, but you can also find uh, using the databases button, uh, choose your subject, in this case English, and then uh, find articles that are listed electronically in the database. So you could pick any one of these databases, so article first is a database. Um, other ones like uh, CBCA, Reference and Current Events, so that's Canadian Periodicals, uh, if you just want information on the author, contemporary literary criticism could be good. Um, expanded academic is a good one, ASAP. So click on that and it should take you uh, to another page where uh, you can do a search for the text that you're wanting to find articles written about. 
Uh, JSTOR is also a good one. So I clicked into the expanded academic uh, ASAP and then I typed in the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, so I'm looking for um, some articles based about around either the film or the short story, uh, King short story. So either one would work uh, for this paper that I might write about this no or this uh, novella. So if I click through any of these, uh, I should be able to get. Sometimes it just mentions it briefly. I want something more um, specifically on the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, this one sounds kind of neat. So this is a critical essay. It tells you in the corner what it is. Uh, some are just movie reviews. This one seems to be uh, about the film. And it looks like it would be a critical essay that I could use. They have a PDF uh, file right here. So you could click on that. And it should open to full text. So if I let this load, yeah, so it's this discussion of the uh, movie and I could maybe use this in my essay, use a quotation from this article uh, written by um, Richard Armstrong. So I would use Armstrong as uh, in my signal phrase to indicate what his opinion of this film is and what uh, his argument is in his interpretation of the film. So this will be, again, useful if I was writing about uh, this novel. So what you don't want to do is to read somebody else's uh, inter interpretation of a text and then just take their ideas without acknowledging them as a source. Um, so this is where signal phrases are going to be really helpful for you because um, it attributes the original idea to uh, the original author. So you're not stealing anybody's ideas or interpretations. Uh, you're giving uh, credit to that person and it makes it seems it, it seems as if you were doing your research and your background uh, research on the topic. So it makes you look good by using other sources and using effective signal phrases to show that you've done your research and you know what other people have said about it and then you can give your interpretation of the text. Uh, so I would encourage you to uh, practice using signal phrases uh, to continue to use secondary sources um, and research whatever it is that you are writing about but don't plagiarize other people's ideas because you can get in a lot of trouble. Uh, if you do that um, and it kind of tarnishes your reputation uh, so you don't want to do that as well. Um, so learn how to research properly and give credit to your sources and this will again help you immensely as you go on to write research papers in your classes. Uh, for writing assignment number four it's kind of a longer paper so you might want to add some of these secondary sources uh, and do some research on what other people have written about the text that you choose to write on. So either Timothy Finley's The Wars um, or the film version of Shawshank Redemption or the novel or novella of Shawshank Redemption written by Stephen King or some combination of those two. Uh, you can write about any of those. So uh, good luck in your writing. And if you have any questions uh, just email me while you uh, work on your signal phrases.